Hello, welcome back to another video with me, John. Today I'm going to be reviewing this, the Cheetos Mac and Cheese. I do have all three flavors that I'm going to be reviewing all three. I'm not sure at this moment if I'm going to edit them all into the same video or do three separate videos. I'm not going to eat them all in one setting because it's a lot of pasta to eat in one setting and that doesn't seem like a great idea. But anyway, we're going to start with the original. Bold and cheesy. The back says, made with authentic cheesiness. It doesn't say made with real cheese. It says made with authentic cheesiness. Seems like a, a weird way to get around saying it's not real cheese. But uh, here's the calories and stuff as prepared or in package. There's two and a half servings per container. So multiply that by two and a half. And that's what you get with this bowl. So you can see I, I have this bowl from the 1980s. And it's very neon yellow. And I can already tell you that this is going to taste like Cheetos. Because you can't make macaroni and cheese without tasting it on your way. Or at least, you know, spin a little lick off the spoon as you're cooking it and whatnot. So I can tell you this tastes like Cheetos. Here we go, we're going to taste this Mac and Cheetos, Mac and Cheese, not Mac and Cheetos, Mac and Cheese, Cheetos, Mac and Cheese. Mac and Cheetos was a thing I already reviewed from Burger King, which were also good. Let's go ahead and taste this. It also says in the back to put uh, Cheetos on top to add crunchiness. I think I'm going to review this, I want to review it for what it is, and that is Mac and Cheese. Another good thing that everyone always loves about mac and cheese is the sound. So let's yeah. stir it up next to the microphone. So I'm gonna come in here. You getting that? You love that? All right, let's give it a taste. This is made in the same manner you would make any kind of box macaroni and cheese. Inside the box are two things: plain noodles and a little bag of cheese. It says boil the noodles in at least six cups of water. I think that's uh, unnecessary, especially if you have like a small pot. This all fits in a relatively small pot for myself. Six cups of water almost got my pot to the very top. So it says at least six cups of water, but that's not really necessary. You're going to drain it. It, it. The noodles were fried in a small pot. With less than six uh, cups of, of water. Boil it for seven minutes, it says. Uh, drain it. Don't rinse it. You probably want some of the starches to be sticking to the pasta, uh, just so like the butter mixes with the starches. Then you add two tablespoons of butter, it says to completely melt the butter in, which I did. Then add a quarter cup of milk and the cheese powder. I still managed to get a couple of like these, uh, yeah, I'm going to show you. These like non-mixed chunks. Which like sometimes I actually like that because it gives you like a little, a little extra kick, and it's not like it's not like there's the cheese has not gotten into everything, so I'm not worried about oh it's not cheesy enough in other places because you didn't mix it up well. It's very cheesy everywhere. It's just little extra punches of cheese when you get the little pockets. As far as comparing this to regular mac and cheese, texture wise, exactly like mac and cheese, buttery noodles with like that buttery cheesy mix flavor to it i'm not sure if regular mac and cheese just tastes like cheetos or if this really just specifically tastes like cheetos it's really good these also come in like the instant cups like the easy mac where you peel it open pour some water in throw it in the microwave take it out of the microwave put the powder in and stir it up where it's all only add water type thing, no butter, no milk. And uh, I don't have those. I'm not going to review the cup ones. I'm only going to be reviewing the box ones. I've seen uh, other people online who've done the cup ones. You know, some people have done both, but uh, I don't think that's necessary. I'm just going to be doing the box ones. For now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be quiet. I'm going to finish this bowl. You can watch. I listen to all the noodle noises. All the chewing noises. Uh, 
There you go. All right. Very good. If you like Cheetos, if you like box macaroni and cheese, I definitely recommend you try this one. Next up, we're going to try the jalapeno and cheese one. Give it a little bit more spiciness. Change the flavor up just a bit. And uh, I guess we'll see you on that video next.